When I was a child, my task at home was to set the table. I think a lot of people grow up with the chore of setting the table in their house. And interestingly enough, when you become a restaurant professional, you spend a lot of time setting tables. And setting tables is all about making it prepared for what is to come. So when you're setting a table, your goal is to make sure that the guest has everything that they need, that it's very pleasing to the eye, makes them completely comfortable, and allows them to relax and enjoy a wonderful meal. Everything that's on a restaurant table has to be beautifully polished and clean. It has to be pressed if it's linen, it has to be polished if it's silverware or glassware. Even if it's a paper napkin, it shouldn't have any creases. It should look clean and untouched. It's very important that anything that goes anywhere near a guest's mouth is never touched by your hands. The guests don't want to see that, and they don't want to know it's happening, even if it's at another table. So you should always handle all serviceware from the part that will touch the guest's hands. So silverware is handled by the handle. Stemware for wine is handled by the stem. Glasses are handled below, far below, where the person's mouth will touch the glass. A table is like a wall, and the serviceware on it is like a piece of art. If it's crooked, it will bug everybody. It will never feel right. So you need to be very, very careful when you're setting a table to make sure that things are properly positioned, that they are parallel in the ways they should be parallel and perpendicular in the ways that they should be perpendicular. They should line up and be even. They shouldn't be askew in any particular way. And opposite sides of the table should be a mirror image of each other. That is very calming and relaxing to the guest. When things look sloppy or thrown on the table, it sends a message to the guest that nobody's really taking care of the tabletop. To set a table for the first time, the first thing you do is take care of what's on the bottom. If it's a bare tabletop, you should wipe it down and make sure it's clean and free of any grease or crumbs. If it's a paper covering that your restaurant uses, there should be a fresh, clean piece of paper without any holes or creases in it. If your tabletop is linen covered, the linen should be squarely placed on the table and ironed, either pressed with your hands or with an iron to make sure that it's absolutely pristine. Then you lay down the silver that's required on the table and the napkin in the way that the restaurant has decided that you should set each table before a guest sits down. Some tables are preset with wine glasses or water glasses or both. There may be salt and pepper on the table or a small vase with flowers or in the evening, a candle. All of these things should have a proper place and they should be in that place before the guest approaches the table. Another important part of table setting is what's called marking. When you set a table for a next course, you're marking that table. It's important, for example, that people have the steak knife they're going to need before their steak is delivered. Obviously, they need their glass before they get their wine. It's the same concept. So if you're a server and you're responsible for the table, you need to make sure that it's properly marked, that the guest has exactly what they need, for what's about to come to them.